We're in a place where some big pieces, and we're moving in a direction where we can get some more done and people will see it. What I'm doing, and I knew I'd have to do this, all those major legislations that we pass, people go, that's great, but they, it takes time to get it out in the field. It takes time for them to see it. And I'm not here to declare victory on the economy. I'm here to say we have a plan that's turning things around incredibly quickly. Well, we have more work to do. For example, does anyone here think the federal tax system is fair? Raise your hand. No matter how much money you make. In Colorado, Governor Jared Polis previously signed legislation that is going to provide residents with a tax rebate. The state's Department of Revenue announced in an official statement that the governor signed a new law to give Coloradans a tax rebate of 750 bucks for individual filers and $1,500 for joint filers this summer. This law will provide immediate relief to Coloradans by sending you a check this summer instead of spring 2023. The Colorado Department of Revenue is working hard to make sure that residents get the right tax refund as soon as possible. According to the state's Department of Revenue, for residents who received an extended tax filing deadline of October 17th, the tax rebate check will be received by January 31st, 2023. Other states have also signed similar legislation, including Georgia, Delaware, Idaho, and Indiana. Now, breaking news, everybody, Senate Democrat Joe Manchin is upset at Senate Minority Mitch McConnell for opposing the new changes on President Biden's economic agenda. Top Democrats in the Senate are now revising a new version of the Build Back Better legislation. The lawmakers would like to see a monthly benefit boost included to the bill. Top Democrats in the Senate are now revising a new version of the Build Back Better legislation. The lawmakers would like to see a monthly benefit boost included to the bill. And today, Joe Manchin said on top that he's dissuaded, he's not dissuaded by warnings from the, from the top Senate Republican leader to sink a bipartisan bill that would only strengthen the U.S. economic competitiveness. Manchin to reporters, I'm not walking away if I can help the country, and if they want to play politics and play party politics, shame on them. Manchin added, it was so wrong of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky to issue warnings to sink the bipartisan legislation, which would only boost the federal investment on emerging technologies like computer chips. The Kentucky Republican reiterated the ultimatum and tied to recent Democratic efforts to pass Biden's economic agenda. And during a speech on the Senate floor, McConnell said, Party line scheming is going to crowd that out. Our side cannot agree to frantically steamroll through bipartisan talks in order to meet a timeline, so our Democratic colleagues can clear the decks to ran through a party line tax hike. McConnell warned and wanted to sink the bill as Democrats make progress towards clinching a deal with Manchin on a climate and tax economic spending package. But a spokesperson for Chuck Schumer said last week that Democrats plan to convene an all senators classified briefing for the bipartisan bill. Republicans and Democratic negotiators have spent months negotiating on the bill to shore up the domestic semiconductor industry, among other, ever, among other sectors, in an effort to reduce the U.S. dependence on imports of important products. Experts say Biden's economic package could include around a trillion dollars in new spending. These ideas would require a range of tax increases to fund them. These taxes would mostly hit businesses, owners, and corporations, at least according to the current proposals that lawmakers are considering. And Sam Runyon, Manchin's communications director, told Yahoo News in a statement that Senator Manchin insists that any final deal addresses inflation. Pinch of inflation, and all Americans are feeling this hurt. And just recently, I've heard stories about folks that are actually taking their their goods, their jewelry, their electronics to pawn shops so they can get additional money to pay for gas. You know, this is really hurting the American people. And those pawn shop owners, um, one in particular in Southwest Iowa, said that folks are just volunteering forward, that, you know, they don't have to say why they're pawning their household goods, but they are telling him that they need it for gas money. This is what Iowans are resorting to. Their wages are... If you look at the unemployment benefits, it extends roughly through mid-March for different types of unemployment benefits. That's a help. The uh, eviction moratorium lasts through January 31st. Um, and the $600 payment, well, that could come within days or several weeks. Uh, depends upon if you get direct deposit and how quickly the Treasury get those checks out. So for unemployed Americans, that money would probably go out the door real fast. For Americans who are working, that might be something that could add to their savings. And First of all, this is what I mean. 
The American Rescue Plan Act really was the most recent crisis relief bill that passed in Washington, D.C. There are many parts of this bill, but the parents everybody especially benefited from an expansion of the child tax credit. The extra funds provided by the child tax credit were available only in 2021. As parents couldn't access the stimulus money in 2022, there's a big chance that lawmakers could take action again in 2023 to make more child tax credit funds available to families, even with people without stimulus. Even with people without families, they should be getting the stimulus money as well. What I'm saying though is that the extra funds everybody are not available from 2022. The American Rescue Plan already provided $1,400 stimulus checks, but we all know that it just wasn't enough. The credit provided parents of children under 6 with $3,600 per child tax credits. This money was made fully refundable. This money was made to the people. This money was given to the people and this money belongs to the people. So, parents with older children as well were also entitled to 3000 bucks per child. However, if you didn't have enough taxes to claim the credit, you didn't even get the money. The expanded child tax credit was also made useful to families because, well, it was paid out monthly beginning in June, rather than just being available after filing taxes. Families didn't even have to wait until tax filing season to get the money, or see their money disappear toward their tax bills if they owed one. Instead, they received a payment to the bank account each month from June to December. But the credit was instrumental in reducing child poverty rates, and it gave uh, parents so much needed breathing room. Then it disappeared. It went away. Democrats needed uh, continuing this credit a priority last year, but Joe Biden was unable to get it done. He wasn't able to get the stimulus payments sent out when the people needed it most. Because now the Biden administration has released details this week on its plan to overhaul the current income-driven repayment plan, known as the Revised Pays Earn Plan. This plan is going to give people stimulus checks. But now, if this bill is approved, well, Nebraska will join states like New York, Massachusetts, Maryland, Colorado, New Mexico, and even Maine in having a child tax credit, everybody. And this proposal would allow a $1,000 child per credit for families with incomes up to seventy-five grand, dollars $75,000. Families making more than that could receive lower credits based on their income. And now one official even said that there is no limitation to the number of children that are covered, and it kind of phases in and out with different income levels. For instance, families making more than that could receive a lower credit based on income, and one state official has even confirmed that there is no limitation to the number of people that are covered, and it kind of phases in and out with different income levels. Uh, Conrad also said that the credit would put more money into the people of Nebraska, and it would give them the stimulus checks that pretty much everyone's been asking for. But though many lawmakers across the country have agreed to help the low income financially by expanding this credit, by giving people what they need, by giving people what's needed from the American government. And what's needed from the government is stimulus checks. For instance, the New York governor has already announced a plan to make government work better for the New Yorkers. 